Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in the game called Crossout. It's uh, free to play. It's, the gender of the game is kind of like twist in middle, but uh, you have like uh, some kind of a uh, ranking system, a bit like Wall of Tank. You just upgrade or, or Robot Craft. It's better. Uh, comparison you can upgrade like your, your car with weapons better attire etc etc it's a really nice game uh first of all if you want to know where is the config file the file is in documents my game cross out so you just open the xml file over there and you will have all your parameter that you want to change i didn't find like anything special here except maybe the skip startup logo that you put you can put at zero and you will skip it but uh, nothing special over there if you have like a low end rig or even a mid end mid end rig, you can't. Nobody saw this, but uh, you can start the game in DirectX 9 if you want. And uh, if you click it, if you see the color orange, you will be in DirectX 11. Okay, 11, you will see you will lose FPS, but you will have a lot of different new uh, uh, visual effect in your game. So if you have a bad computer just go like this if you have a better rig go to DirectX 11 so let's start this um we don't have a lot of uh option in this game honestly the first option that you will need to uh remove it's all the shadows okay shadows is, is taking a lot of resources in this game and by the way the game is really well optimized so you should definitely play it if you want to try a free-to-play game that it's very nice so in the video section, first of all, make sure that you unlock the V-Sync option here. So uh, you will have more than 60 FPS. And also that's really nice. You have a FPS limit. So if you don't want to, uh, you don't want your video card to, 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 to how can I say that? Like to, to uh, use a lot of energy and j drawing some power that you don't need. Uh, you can limit it to 60 or 80 if you want, just to be a little bit uh, more than 60. And you, if you have a um, 144 hertz, you can go whatever you want over there. Okay. So first of all, make sure that shadow quality here low, and uncheck the shadow AA. Just this, you will gain eight to twelve FPS uh, depending on your rig for sure. Uh, this one is very important. Also, anti-aliasing. Make sure that you're at two or four. Okay, depending on your rig. Uh, if you're using none, that's yeah, your visual quality will decrease a lot, and it's not uh, something that really like when anti aliasing it's at none because uh, you the game is not well defined, so just use 2MX, um, 2x sorry, and if you have like a mid range or high end rig, go to 4 or 8, okay. And you so tropic filtration, this one go 8 or 4 depending on your ring again. But you will see a little bit of uh, like two to three, two to three FPS, uh, depending on your bracket. And by the way, over there, you will see a lot of difference. It can be six FPS to, if you go eight to four, you will probably uh, win four to six FPS. And if you go four to two, again four to six FPS. So that's a lot of FPS that you can uh, uh, gain in this uh, setup. Texture quality and shader quality, you can lower it for texture quality depending on your. Uh, uh, the number of VRAM that you have on your video card. So if you have a video card with just one gig of VRAM or two gig, go a little bit lower, but you will not gain a lot of FPS. Same thing here, you will not gain a lot of FPS over there. The last one that's really important to have like um, uh, a gain of FPS is the draw distance. Uh, for sure, if you see very far in the game, you will uh, you need to render a lot of stuff in, in front of you. And if you go uh, with something like medium or low, you will not see very far in the game, but you will render less, okay? So if you just go high to medium, you will see 8 to 10 FPS, depending on where you're looking at the map, but you will see that you can have a big increase over there. So that's about it, guys. If with uh, further patch, they add more stuff in it, and if I see some stuff in the config file, I will tell you. Uh, but for now, that's about it. So if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, RAM, and I will try to, to answer the best that I can. Thank you very much, guys. Peace.